two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am Alea. If you are not new here, welcome back. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'll wait. Subscribe now, click that button, you won't regret it. I just wanted to make a video about where I've been, what I've been doing, what happened. I know that I just started YouTube and I'm just like, post reviews and just cold turkey. And I know people are probably just like, where have you been? And I've had people message me being like, what's going on with your YouTube channel? Like, you know, I've had family hounding me, being like, you bought all this equipment, you haven't done anything, blah, blah, blah. And like, I just wanted to come on here and explain. And also like, I know there's people out there that feel the way I'm feeling, and I kind of want to explain that feeling. And like, it's just, it's a story. It's a story time, not really, but. So just sit back, grab your snacks, and let's just have a little chit chat about where I've been. <laughs> So, whatever it's been, I think it's been about three months, I just stopped recording videos. What happened was when I started, when I got all my equipment finally, I was so excited, I got my camera, all my stuff, everything I needed to finally like pursue YouTube the way I wanna pursue it. My job went back into like full swing. So like I was on in quarantine for three months. Um, my job was one of the first things to open back up here in Canada and so I had to go back into work like pretty much immediately like I got a message from my boss on a Friday and, or a Wednesday I think it was Wednesday or Thursday I think and I had to go back into work on the Monday and I was not mentally prepared for it I was ready because I missed my job and I missed so many things about my job but I was not ready when it came to multitasking. I, I had then forgotten how much my job actually takes out of me to do. And I am not complaining. I am so grateful for the job that I have. And I'm so grateful that I get to do something I love doing. But I just did not realize how much it takes out of me to actually do my job. And like in the past, like I obviously know how draining my job can be on my body. I've always known this. But like, I just think I forgot. And so when I had to go back to work, I honestly did not realize that like that's what I was gonna experience again. And so when I went back to work, I thought, okay, I will work during the week because I work like basically not work for nine hours, um, but I'm commuting 45 minutes each way. I don't drive, so the commute is very a lot. So by the time I get home, I just wanna sleep. Um, so I wanna eat, shower, sleep. That's all I wanna do. And so I thought I was able to work my work week, come home on the weekend, film maybe two, three videos, edit them throughout the week, and post. And if I was if I was able to, because if I had the amount of energy to do that, I would. But I have always been a very low energy person. I've also got to doctors about it. We, I, I know issue in my energy. Um, but I just still thought, because I was so passionate that I could do it, and I genuinely could not. Like, aside from being not energetic, I'm being straight up, I am a lazy person. <laughs> like so lazy and so like the last thing I want to do is come home and pick up the camera and not only that like there's more to it but like putting on a full piece of makeup and just putting on this like ha, act for the camera I could not mentally do it I was so drained every single day and I got home and I was just like ugh. it just it, it was a lot and it was a lot for me to handle and so that was the reason why I just like was like okay I need a break now my break wasn't supposed to last three months, four months now, I think. It was almost the last that long, but it did. Not only was I completely drained and tired, I was also just like going through a really rough time with myself. And so to explain that, um, one of the main reasons I stopped YouTube besides my job, like my job was definitely a factor, but one of the main reasons was I just really could not handle um, looking at myself on a TV screen, on my laptop, on my phone, on a camera. Um, and that's very harsh to say about yourself, but it's the truth. Um, I could not physically look at myself and be happy with what I was looking at. I was editing a video once and it took me days. Something that takes me, um, and I'm not gloating or anything, something that takes me roughly, if I was to sit down and edit a video, would take me, a video like this would take me maybe, let's say, three hours tops. 
three hours tops. And that's if I'm like doing edits and everything. I'm not, that's a two hour video. Cool. A vlog, four. Let's say about four hours total, okay? I was editing a vlog. Um, I'm not gonna say what vlog, but I was editing a vlog. <laughs> um, and I could not get over the fact that I hated the way I looked. I just hated my face. I was like, ew. Um, and it was really hard to get over that feeling and it was sad to feel that way and I was so sad because I was so excited to do YouTube but I could not look at myself and that, that wasn't the first video where I've been like, mm. but it definitely was that video that made me be like, oh god, no, like I, I had called my friends, FaceTime people being like, does this look okay? Do I look ugly? Like, I need a filter, there's no filters, I can't find anything, like I, I was willing to pay whatever money it took to make myself not look the way I thought I felt I looked on camera. And it was crazy because my brother actually watched my videos. Shout out to you. Um, and he told me that was one of his favorite vlogs. And I was like, that's my least favorite vlog. And he was like, no, that's one of your, my favorite of yours. Like, I just think it was like genuine and this and this. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like, I think I look so horrible. But like, my brother's over here like, you look great. Like, what are you talking about? Like, you looked fine. Like, who cares? The family will tell you you're beautiful and they'll tell you you're pretty. And my friends will tell me that I'm beautiful and pretty. And I didn't really need to hear it because I just genuinely didn't feel it. Like, even if you told me, I wouldn't believe you. I need to feel it on my on my own. And I just didn't feel that way they were telling me. I thought they were just being nice. Like, yeah, your family friends are going to tell you that they love you and that you're beautiful. Like, um, And so for them to say that to me, it didn't really make a difference in how I felt. And that was really important to me is that I did not feel the way people were saying I looked. And it was really hard for me to overcome. And so I never wanted to be on camera. I didn't want to pick up the camera. I didn't want to look at the camera. I didn't want to film anything because I was so uncomfortable. And so I decided to stop filming. And then about three weeks ago, <laughs> my beautiful cousin and I were on FaceTime. And I was looking at myself in like a little FaceTime camera. And I realized that like, at that point in time, I didn't have a full face of makeup on. I wasn't wearing a cute outfit. My natural hair was out, I was looking like me. Um, and I felt so beautiful. And I was like, oh, oh, shoddy up, baddie. Like, I truly felt like, wow. Like, who's that? Who is that? Uh, who was she? Like, I truly felt so beautiful looking into that camera. And I was like, and what made it better was I wasn't wearing not even a drop of makeup, lips crustier than ever, looking like just myself. And it felt great. It truly did. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I really realized at that moment that like, I truly like love YouTube. And I truly want to put out content because I'm so excited for those kind of things. Like, I'm like so excited to do this. And so, like, I just want to do those things. This is, makes me happy. Um, and I didn't care what I looked like anymore. I don't care if I vlog and I got 20 people on my face. I got 20 right now. I don't care if my hair was gross. I got dandruff problems. I got this, that, that. I don't care because in that moment, not only did I feel beautiful, but I realized that I'm human. And people may look at me and think the same thing that I'm thinking. Maybe people may look at me and think this like opposite of what I'm thinking, but like we're all human and they go through things as I go through things. And I just, I wasn't coming out here to impress nobody. I was coming out here to put out good content because I flipping love YouTube. Like, that's just what I wanted to do. And so it just, it was so sad that I wanted to stop because I didn't feel beautiful. And like, the reason I'm telling the story too is because like, I want people to understand that like, you don't need to look good to do something you love. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to be a model or anything at all. I'm literally trying to just produce content that I love to watch. Um, and that's all, all I'm here for. And I don't care if it takes me 10 million places or takes me nowhere. I just want to do this. And that's why I was like, why do you care what you look like? Though? Like, if I was trying to be, you know, a full blown Instagram model out here, mm -hmm, styling, maybe I care more about what I look like, but I'm not trying to do that. I don't even like taking pictures of myself. So <laughs> it was just, I needed that confidence. And I don't think that confidence is fully there, but I do feel a lot more at peace looking at myself on camera. Like right now I'm staring at myself through a viewfinder and I'm like, there's something wrong with me. And I want every man, woman out there to know there's nothing wrong with you either. You are beautiful in your own way. And that's what was really important. People see that stuff and I'm always like, yada, yada, yada. That's the truth. I'm beautiful in my own way. I don't need to look like anybody else. I don't need to look like a specific kind of person. I am me 
and I'm beautiful. And I just needed to feel that validation from myself in order to move forward. And I'm sorry it took three months to feel that, um, but it did, so I'm back in full effect, ready to go. So more content from me. So there's not really anything crazy going on in this video. I just wanted to explain myself and explain where I've been. And hopefully someone sees this and they may feel the same way too and just pick up a camera and say, I don't care. Um, and yeah, it's also very important for me to do this for myself. I need to remember this if I ever do feel this way again. I need to remember that there's nothing wrong with you. You are beautiful in every way possible. That's it for my speech. If you were still here, I hope you really enjoyed this video. I have a lot of content coming up for the month of December. I know December is usually Vlogmas, but honestly, you guys, that is not even realistic. I wish it was, and someday it will be, but right now, in 2020, it is not realistic for me at all. I won't be doing a full-blown Vlogmas, but I will be producing content throughout the month of December. I want to be on a three-day-a-week schedule, but that's going to be hard, so we'll figure it out together. Just stay posted on my social media, my Instagram, which will be linked below, and turn on your bell notifications because that's when you know my videos will be posted. Until then, I hope everyone's staying safe. I hope everyone is healthy and doing well. I hope that everyone's families are healthy and their friends are healthy and everyone's doing well. I um, know we're going through a hard time and we're in our second wave and everyone's going through second lockdown. Anyway, I'll see you guys in my next video, which should be out soon. <laughs> Until then, love you all and I'll see you soon. I love you. I love you.